right so welcome to my channel once again this afternoon it's afternoon here and um, I'm here to teach you how to make a simple um, nose mask um, DIY do it yourself you can do this at home it's very simple and um, I'm making something quite similar to the surgical mask okay so some of the materials that um, we need for today's lesson is the filter fabric this is how it looks like actually this fabric according to research can trap um, the tiniest um, particle of virus okay and so this is the the filter fabric that i have here i'm going to use it this is how it looks like actually and so I've already prepared my piece out of the filter fabric I have. All right. So I have here an already prepared filter fabric. It's um, made of two layers, okay? So I will explain this into detail later. We need this elastic string. If you don't have this, you can improvise for this just that this is quite thicker and if you want to use this then you should be prepared to make an elastic um, band that will go around i mean the back of the head not um beneath the ear because it's going to create tension and it's not going to be very comfortable if you want to um prepare a, a nose mask with a string to hang around your ear then the tiny one this type will be better all right and then of course we need our scissors and any sewing materials you have your tape measure your machine and you are set to go so let me put this away because i'm not using this so the first thing i did like i i said earlier on i just prepared my um filter piece i cut nine centimeters by nine centimeters like a total square but anyway i'm going to fold pleats at one end and it's going to make it look rectangular so we have 19 cm sorry i said nine it's 19 centimeters so 19 centimeters by 19 centimeters and then what i did after that This is my 19 centimeters, right? Good. So after cutting 19 centimeters by 19, which is a perfect square, I just fold it in one centimeter at the sides, just one side. I'm leaving the sides out. So two sides of the filter piece will be folded inside. I'm just going to top stitch just to secure those sides perfectly before I continue. So I'm going to stitch, top stitch here, here, and there. Just two sides. All right. Make sure it's teach about um, 0 0.5 millimeters from the fold line. Right, so I'm done with my top stitching. Make sure you cut off any excess and thread hanging in there. 
I have my top stitching done. Okay. Yeah, so this is my piece. The next thing I'm going to do is to look for the center of the piece that is left. Remember, after folding in 1cm um, and 1cm from this side, you're, you're going to, that's 2 um, subtracted 19 out of 2. And that means you have 17 centimeters left here anyway. But you're going to look for the center of what is left here. You can simply fold the filter piece into two. Okay, just to find your center, as simple as that. And if you find your center, let me do that again. Right. So this is my center. I've already marked my piece though. This is my center line. This is my center line. You can do that with pencil. I'm doing it with pen. This is my center line. This is my center line. So this is what I, I did. Just watch closely. From the top. Or let me say um, from the center. I just measured 4 cm from the center upwards. So that makes um, two centimeters each. This is my center line, okay? So two centimeters each from the top one. This one, that's two centimeters. And then this is also another two centimeter. But from the bottom, I um, measured six centimeters. This is still a center line. So I had two to four and four to six giving me uh, one two three 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 spaces this is giving me two spaces you do same for this side as well again this is my center line from my center top is just four centimeters so i divide it into two, two centimeters each down six centimeters and i divide into two centimeters each as well so it's going to give me one two three four five six max okay so i have my six max here six max here what we are going to do i'm just going to use that to fold pleats you can also use your own discretion it's a simple mask it's not you don't have to necessarily measure though but to get everything accurate you can do what i have here so i'm simply going to fold my um pleats watch carefully I'm going to fold one, the first one, over to the next thick like this. So first one over this one and then I'll hold it down with a pin, okay, just to make it stable, sorry. Then I would pick the second tick. Which is actually the center i'm making just three pleats and place this over so this pleat and um, this tick over this and then i'm gonna pin and here this one the last one over the other tick we have three right good so I have three pleats here you do same on the other side so one two pin it then one here the second one over the next one you can see the lines right pin it and then the last one the last two this over this so remember we had six marks and those six marks are folded into three nice pleats so you can um, 
glide your hand over it oops and this is what we get I think it's clear here yeah all right now the next thing is to pick a string you know this is what we had so you pick your string and insert it before you do the stitching because you are going to stop stitch over this so just insert the string here mm, I'm going to manage <laughs> yep about it's just a centimeter in there yes I got it stuck and and I, I'm just peeling to hold it down because I don't want it to move when I top stitch. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Your string is actually supposed to be positioned where your seam allowance is, okay? I mean, where we folded the one seam, somewhere there is the best position. So you, you do that. Good. 10 and then repeat same for the other side so this is what we have okay so I'm repeating same here yeah, yeah. okay And the same on the other side. This way. I hope you can see what I'm. Hmm. Then you pin. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I get. So this is what I have here. So you can see, let me turn it the other way around. So you can have a look at the pleats very well. So this is what I have here. You can see, yeah. I'm gonna just top stitch from here, just top stitching down to hold down both the elastic string and the pleats. And I'll do same to the other side. So, I'm done and I'm going to remove all my um, pins, the pins I've used here.
mousse mask a simple one of course is ready you can you can um, actually choose to trim off the edges a bit if um, you feel you have too much there you can trim off if you want as an option you can do a bit of trimming off probably to take the max off that, because this is quite disposable okay all right so we have a simple nose mask right so you can make this at home but before you do this please make sure you wash your hands or use your hand sanitizer make sure um whatever table you're using is quite clean because this is going to use to cover your nose we, we are preventing germs and viruses here so you can do this as home as simple as this so far as you get your filter fabric you can also use any cut other cotton fabric um, and then use um, the filter as a backing for it. That is perfect as well. So this is how you get your simple nose mask at home. See you next time on the same channel. Bye-bye.